You can't be sick before the big mission. Uh, come in. How are you feeling, Eagle? Feeling fine. Oh, better than fine. I'm feeling so good they're talking about making me the mayor of Awesome Town. <laughs> Eagle, you're not fooling anybody. You're sick. You need to stay in and get some rest. But I don't want to miss out on the new solar engines. Coot says they'll help us go to incredible distances without having to refuel. You can test the new engines when you're feeling better. Aw, oh, but... Eagle, you're not going on the mission, and that's final. You're not the boss of me, Robin. <sighs> Eagle, I'm sorry. You're not going on the mission, and that's final. It's my latest invention. A new, highly advanced solar engine. Solar energy is free and available, and it's better for the environment. How does the solar engine work? The solar cells collect energy directly from the sun and turn that energy into electricity. And fortunately, the sun is always shining in space. Cool. Our mission is to safely travel as close as possible to the sun using the new engines. Once there, we will engage in a series of drills and tests. I've designed a brand new obstacle course that will really test the capabilities of these advanced solar engines. Aw, oh, come on. That sounds awesome. Oh, <laughs> Eagle, uh, don't worry. You'll have your chance to try the engines when you're feeling better. But we can't have you risk infecting the rest of the class, or making yourself even sicker. Yeah, oh, and while you're resting up, feel free to study the new engine's design. Yay. There we go. Your new solar engine will engage once you're in space. This is so exciting. <laughs> Seen it. Seen it. I want to see it. Why is there never anything to do when you're homesick? Oh, I know. The old rock collection. Always good for some fun. Crane, my rocky friend. Entertain me, as a wise rocket once said. Oh, what? No, no! Oh, that's it. I'm going on this mission, sick or not. Attention, Cadet Eagle. You really should remain in your room if you want to get better soon. I hate being sick. Okay, Cadets, turn off your regular engines now and engage your new solar engine. Whoa! These engines feel amazing! They're so quiet! And they look so cool! The energy from the sun is charging the collectors up to full capacity. Then let's see what these babies can really do, huh? <laughs> I'm sure it's not that great anyway. It's just a highly advanced, totally cool new engine system. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Ava, can you please set up a radio link with Robin? I want to ask her how the solar engines are working out. Radio link established. However, it will take 1 minute and 45 seconds for your signal to reach Robin at her current distance from Earth. Great. Can't even talk to my friends in real time. Ava, can you please show me the mission briefing? If I can't be there in person, the least I can do is see what I'm missing. The mission is to test the solar engines by traveling to an obstacle course close to the sun and executing a series of maneuvers. Agility and flight control will both be tested. Cool. Ava, please show me a picture of the solar engines. 
How do they work anyway? Solar collectors on each ship take energy from the sun and turn it into electricity that drives the ship's engines. Guess it's a good thing they didn't go at night. Solar engines do not work in the dark, but fortunately there is no nighttime in space. That's true, but there are eclipses and transits. Moons and planets can block the sun. This mission does not call for the racers to travel to any moons or planets. Can you show me a picture of the solar system? And where is the obstacle course? Wait a second. That just made me think of something. I wonder what would happen... Please ask your question again with more specific details. That's okay. Never mind, Ava. I have to go do some research. Something could go wrong and... I, I have to figure out what it is. Okay, cadets. Let her rip! The obstacle course is fixed in space. But hello? Mercury, the closest planet orbiting the sun, isn't. Oh no, it's going to cast its shadow on the obstacle course. Gotta conduct a fast, a fast experiment. I need to know if Mercury's shadow will interfere with the new solar engines. Okay, here's Mercury. This is where it is now. Ava, when Mercury's orbit takes it over here, will it cast a shadow on the obstacle course? Let us check. It seems you are correct, Cadet Eagle. Mercury's shadow will cause the obstacle course to be in the dark. Oh, that obstacle course requires precision flying. But without the sunlight, they'll have no engine power. Yes. After their battery levels are consumed, the solar engines will shut down. So then the whole class could be in danger. I have to warn them. At maximum speed, I can... I can reach them in... Negative, Cadet Eagle. You are too sick for space travel. But then how am I supposed to let them know they're in danger? Radio is still the best method of long-distance communication. Of course! <laughs> These new engines are super cool! Eagle must be so jealous! Hey, you just worry about yourself, cadet. Now, for the final test, who's ready for the obstacle course? <laughs> Attention, Coach Pigeon and Professor Coot! Please come in, this is Eagle! You have to stop the solar engine test. Mercury is heading your way. It's going to cast a shadow on your obstacle course any minute now. No response. What's going on? The time delay for your voice to reach the obstacle course is 3 minutes and 45 seconds. Oh, right. I forgot. How long since I transmitted? 26 seconds. I repeat, Mercury's shadow will hit your position. Solar engines will not work in the dark. <laughs> Sorry about that. Are you receiving? Please respond. I'm worried about you. Come on, come on, say something. Ava, how long has it been? Three minutes and 45 seconds. Then why haven't they responded yet? Communication between Earth and the obstacle course takes three minutes and 45 seconds each way. Oh yeah, right. Attention, Coach Pigeon and Professor Coot, please come in, this is Eagle. Eagle? You have to stop the solar engine test. Mercury is heading your way. Mercury? Uh, Ava, are we in Mercury's path? Yes, Mercury is about to cast its shadow on your position. Visual data coming in now from Eagle. Attention, cadets! Stop the mission! Uh, I was just about to hit the giant slalom. Now! Huh? What's happening? How could I have missed it? Mercury is blocking the sun! Without sunlight, we'd automatically switch to battery. No time to get the regular engines back online. If we were moving through that obstacle course when it went dark, oh, we'd be crashing into things left and right. But how did you remember? I didn't. We received an emergency signal from Eagle. 
Isn't he supposed to be resting? How long has it been now? Seven minutes and 52 seconds. Then why haven't they responded? It's been long enough for his signal to get back. I hope they're okay. Mission leader responding. We are safe. Repeat, we are safe. Thank you, Eagle, for the heads up. Over and out. <laughs> okay, Ava. I'm gonna go get some rest now. Feel better. Thank you for your diligence, Cadet Eagle. I don't know how I missed the data about Mercury, but it could have been disastrous if you hadn't warned us. You're welcome, but I still wish I could have been up there with everyone. Ah, but research done back in the lab is just as important as the work we do out in space. If you weren't back here, you never would have figured out about Mercury casting its shadow. That's right. Seeing things another way really saved the day. Cool. So, can I try the solar engine now? Of course. That is, I will outfit you as soon as I'm feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>